some people suck, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. The fact that they, the fact that that they act like that when they leave a place like that, that shit is sucky, man. They suck. <laughs> you literally was in the safest place on the planet. That that college was probably the safest place on the planet. And you come out here acting like white people that did something to you, man. Evil, man. Demonic, man. <laughs> people are devils man God, dog. i say we devils man i don't care what nobody say man some people are devils And today, renowned civil rights attorney Sue Ann Robinson will gather with the community's supporters after meeting with federal authorities in the Queen City. Initially, Shanquilla's friends claimed that she died from alcohol poisoning, but an autopsy revealed that it was a severe spinal cord injury. At 1.30 this afternoon, the legal team will join Robinson's family for an update after going on a fact-finding mission to Mexico. Ain't nobody talking, man. Oh, guys, I want to, we got a special guest. We got Justin Pearson in the house, man. What's up, Justin, man? How you doing, man? So you, you, sh you shaved, man. What's going on? Thanks thanks for the free press. <laughs> hey, man, that guy kind of remind me of you, man. When I first saw it, I said, man, that's bossy, man. Ain't nothing wrong with speaking English correctly, man. I like, I like, I like him when he was, when he was doing Marcy, better than when he was doing Martin Luther King, man. He was a better person, man, when he was doing you, man. He wasn't me then. He definitely ain't me now. What's going on, man? No, I'm just, just uh, keeping up with the chat. We have new deal. Yeah, this is Shanquilla case, man. Shanquilla, man. Sons, sons, sons don't be snitching, man. We got a strange culture, man. <laughs> They literally, it was like literally eight, nine people there, man. Ain't nobody cooperating, man. <laughs> Which is, you can understand, because, I mean, they would be ostracized and castigated and, you know, <laughs> run out of town. But, you know, it's just weird that, you know, as much as some people talk about, like, they just talk about other groups of people like dogs, we have new details in the Shinquella Robinson case, a signal for a setback for her family. Authorities now say they will not file federal charges in the case. The 25-year-old from Charlotte died last year while on vacation in Mexico. Her death has been shrouded by mystery, and a now viral video shows her being beaten prior to her death. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger is live in Uptown, where the Robinson family attorney spoke today. And, and Derek... She said, boss, he's so even killed, he's a special kind of son. <laughs> I, pre I, appreciate, I appreciate that, Alicia Shadows. Hey, listen, man, bossy, bossy, man. Yeah, man, you are, you you different, man. I, I ain't even even killed, man. But it's, I, I ain't, I'm, I'm a son, man, though, man. I ain't, I'm son, I'm a son, doubt, man. It's I'm hope for you. It's, it's hope for you, too. Oh, man, ain't no hope for me, man. I'm, I'm sunned out, man. I'm, 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 this is, man, I'm walking on sunshine, man. <laughs> Don't feel good. Shit. This is just such a disheartening uh, news for the family that's fought so hard to seek justice. Yes, they have fought so hard and simply put, the lawyer for the family told us today that they are disappointed but not deterred. But there's still a way for charges to possibly come in the case.
Shankola Robinson's family walked into the FBI field office Wednesday, hopeful, but about an hour later walked out. There was a sense then that they were not happy with what they heard. Federal authorities saying federal charges would not be filed in her death. It's a blow to a case that... Wait a second, I'm confused. Ain't there too many black people in prison? <laughs> Are there too many black people in prison? What are these people mad about, man? I mean, that's the, that's the, that's the narrative. And you black people, they should have been happy when they came out there and they told them that they wasn't going to be able to lock up. <laughs> man, you some people are fucking confusing, man. Y'all confused people, man. Y'all literally confused people, man. One minute is one thing. The next minute is another thing. Uh, then is this. Then is that. God, dog, y'all are fucking um exhausted, man. Saying federal charges would. Family walked into the FBI field office Wednesday, hopeful, but about an hour later walked out. There was a sense then that they were not happy with what they heard. Federal authorities saying federal charges would not be filed in her death. It's a blow to a case that has gained national and international attention. Robinson, a young Charlotte woman on vacation in Cabo San Lucas, who reportedly was seen on video being assaulted by someone she knew before she died. Justice delayed can be justice denied. We all know that and have seen it time and time again. The family's lawyer, Sue Ann Robinson, spoke with the media after the meeting with federal officials. The U.S. Attorney's Office says they told the family that the evidence they had in the case did not support a federal prosecution. While it is a setback, it does essentially leave one big option open for now, for Mexico to order an extradition hearing. Robinson says that paperwork has been filed, but nothing has happened yet. Something she says is frustrating and something that she has seen more than she would like. When there are black and brown victims of crimes, there is a whole other set of things that have to be done then not <laughs> you, you shocked she used the race car bossy no <laughs> not at all damn like where that come from she it, it was it was uh, everybody in there was black yo some people are fucking annoying she went you don't think she'd have enough dignity to not use the race car this time like enough like just like this isn't even a time for the race car. <laughs> like the race car isn't even this place. They don't accept the race car at this restaurant. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, when, it, when when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Because all she all, all she has is all she has is a race car, so everything's a racial issue. This is insane. This is. This is like the worst placed pool of the race card I've ever seen in my life. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these? She she literally just was like, man, fuck that shit. This is white people fuck. <laughs> for Mexico to order an extradition hearing. Robinson says that paperwork has been filed, but nothing has happened yet. Something she says is frustrating and something that she has seen more than she would like. When there are black and brown victims of crimes, there is a whole other set of things that have to be done. Then like witnesses cooperating, you fucking dunce. She keeps throwing in this brown mess. So why do you keep thinking that black and brown are, 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 lock, are lockstep with one, with one another? Yeah, Mexicans love black people. <laughs> can't you tell? That just, that just shows she can't. That just shows her whole, whole argument can't stand on its own concerning black people. You gotta throw in some. Other, you gotta throw in some other. I'm surprised she didn't say yellow. But wait, right. that, 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 but they're glider adjacent, so I guess it won't say yellow. Yeah, they're the model minority. So since they're successful and smart, they can't be. They're not really people of color. So it's like, damn, yo. No, it's, it's eight niggas there. None of them a snitch. The cops can't fucking the cops can't, can't can't build a case without no cooperation from all any of the people that were there. And she blames white people. <laughs> well, co well cooperation takes commitment, and it seems like a lot of, a lot of someone who, who find themselves in these, in these situations they're afraid of committing fully to anything. 
<laughs> you know, one of the, one of the loved ones are, are have been hurt, and they they refuse to cooperate because they think they because they think that it's going to blow back on them at some point. Yeah. So it's very selfish. Exactly, man. It, most some people are terrible people, man. It just is what it is. I mean, it's not even like. <sighs> At this point, the fact that it's controversial is kind of like strange. It's it's weird that it's controversial. Most sun people are pieces of shit when against the canvas of cultures outside of the sun community. Now, if you're inside of the sun community, you see some guys run up. They shoot wildly at some other guys. A bullet hits a fucking kid. And you just, the police come and say, hey, man, can you help us solve this case of this dead kid? This kid was just playing video games. He got killed. Um, Did you see anything? You say, no, I ain't see nothing. That person in the black community is a great guy. He's a dynamite guy. But if you put that outside of the black community, everyone's like, man, what the fuck? You're not going to tell us that kid was just playing video games. You're not going to, and that piece of shit that shot him is going to kill somebody in the community next week. You're not going to fucking help out. And what it's they, like, well, they even talk to black cops. Not, not even that, right? Oh, it, fuck no. Yeah. Fuck no. They, they, listen, they, they'll snitch when it can help them. Now, all these fucking thugs. When the thugs get locked up, like that guy who killed that guy in the smoke shop in New York, yeah, oh, he's snitching. He in there talking it like a mug. He's telling the cops everything. He knows. He's trying to get off. But none of them guys who was in there who saw him kill that other guy was snitching. <laughs> it's weird, man. Um, it's weird, man. Um, we're we're pieces of shit when you look at us outside of the black community. Now, if you're looking at us inside of the black community, it's perfectly normal behavior. Um, She went full race card, though, man. Hearing. Robinson says that paperwork has been filed, but nothing has happened yet. Something she says is frustrating and something that she has seen more than she would like. When there are black and brown victims of crimes, there is a whole other set of things that have to be done than not the family says they are trying to chart a new path in the case. The case, they say, is cut and dry, and they want to know why the justice is not. There has to be a high level of diplomatic intervention. Heads of state have to talk to heads of state and say, listen, this is what it is. This is what happened. It's on video. We can't have U.S. citizens do this cannot occur. How are we going to resolve this? Smash. <laughs> but, um, this is um, she's a she's an airhead man. She's a fucking airhead man. Um, let me just show you what I mean when I say sons are like the typical son man behavior is normal in the son community, but outside of the son community, that shit it just takes on a different look. Let me give you an example, man. Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. Rapper Cameron has made millions from his lyrics about life in the mean streets of Harlem. And a big part of his hip hop culture is keeping your mouth shut when the cops come around. He told CNN's Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes why he'd rather be silent than a snitch. You were shot in both arms. Yes. And you have nerve damage in one of them. Yes. Does it still hurt? Oh, yeah, definitely. Feels like my hand is numb. It's in the ice box all day. If you had seen who shot you, mm-hmm. Would you have told police? No. Why? Because the type of business I'm in, it would definitely hurt my business. And the way that I was raised, I just don't do that. I was raised differently not to tell. A lot of people, though, hearing that are going to say that that's not a good thing. The people that say it's not a good thing are most likely the people that don't buy my records. You know what I'm saying? The people that buy my records kind of understand where I'm coming from. I have a fan base of 500,000 people, which means every time my album comes out, I sell 500,000 on a good day, on a bad day. On a great day, I sell 2 million records. So basically, 
the people who would say that that isn't a good thing. I don't think those.